Alexei here from Ace Five Studios, and today we're going to be talking about my 5J rigs again. I got a question from one of my customers: if you can modify the proportions and the sizes of the parts, like if you can modify the size of the head or the arms and stuff. And the thing is, you can, but there's a couple of things you have to first do. First, you have to open your layers panel, which is here. You can find it in Windows Layers Layer Manager, something like that. I don't know where it is. Just type Shift C and go Layer Manager. There you go. Nope, that's not it. Shift C and layers. Yeah. It's. <laughs> I do not remember where it was. There, layer manager. That's it. Okay, good. So once you have this, you have to unlock joints and unlock mesh. And probably display joints. That's useful too. Or actually, no, you don't need to. Um, now, you're going to open your joints. And you're gonna see this boy's hip rig. You're gonna select this guy, this little tag here. You're gonna right click on it and go select that identical children. And then here you're gonna type you're gonna tick this S button. Now what this means is that I can grab this controller here and using a scale tool, make sure you click and hold here and go to object mode, otherwise it won't work. And now I can use a scale, click on this thing, and now I can scale the whole head. It doesn't scale, you'll have to scale the face stuff manually because that stuff's not attached. But this is how you can scale the head. Um, however, you'll notice that when you scale the head up, you might get some funkiness going on over here. It's not going to be quite as smooth. To fix that, because uh, right now, is what I'm using is a spherical interpolation for the mesh. So for example, if you see this hand here and you rotate it, um, it has kind of a smoothness, but if we select this mesh and we go to skin and go to object and change this to linear, you'll see the deformation gets kind of a bit different. Like it, it's not a big, huge deal, but in some places it's kind of noticeable. It gets uh, less smooth. But now what you can do is now you can actually, when you use the scale, you'll see that here it gets a lot smoother. Um, or maybe you don't see it oh, because it's not scaled yet. Let's scale this guy up. Don't forget to always use the object tool. See the kind of wonkiness? If we switch this to or linear, now it's smooth. And now we can also grab this and we can scale this guy up. But what I would recommend is instead of scaling this up, um, switch this to IK and then scale this guy up because that'll work a bit better and you can move these guys you can you can move any of these joints wherever you want you know it's but the thing is remember that now if I press reset PSR like the um, it'll go back to where it was so if you want this to be the new default size and the position then you want to make sure you select this guy and you find them here in your coordinates and you go freeze transformation, freeze all. And now when you move this guy around and you go, when you move him somewhere and then you reset PSR, it'll go back to that position. Um, same thing with this, you can move this guy up. You move this guy first. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And you still have the functionality of a lot of the stuff remaining, but it's not the best. I don't recommend doing this a lot, but if you really need to, you do have this possibility. And by switching that space for the deformer in skin from linear to spherical, you'll have a, from spherical to linear, you'll have a lot less problems. So yeah, and here as well, like you can scale this guy up, but see it goes on kind of wonky if you have IK enabled. So you should disable your Go to FK, and now you can scale this guy up. And he can have a big leg. But then you lose your IK. If you turn the IK back on, it'll kind of go all messy. So it's not really designed for that. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget these characters. You can buy them on our website and lots of other stuff and lots of other free tutorials. So go check them out. And if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. This was Alexei. Have a good one.